This is Raptor News. Today we are going to be talking about the congregation of the dead and the resurrection of the dead. Who is the congregation of the dead? Who's in that? We're going to start with John 4.22. You worship what you do not know. We worship what we know for salvation is from the Jews. What does it mean? They don't know they're worshiping Satan. And it's talking to who? Gentiles. But we know we're worshiping the Most High God of Israel. They think that they're worshiping God and His Son. The Son is the dead, the first begotten of the dead. And they are in the congregation of the dead, being preached the resurrection of the dead. The resurrection of the dead is when God threw Satan and the Gentiles out into hell for a thousand years I'm explaining in a nutshell and we're going to go into detail in a minute and they lived in hell they burned they fried they died in hell for a thousand years they was resurrected Christ being the first one resurrected from the dead which is Satan being the first one resurrected from the dead and then loosed on earth as the locust to what torment men for what to the time of the Gentiles. So we're going to prove everything by the scriptures. Because God says then what? I am the God of the living, not the God of the dead. Cursed is he who is in the congregation of the dead. And they sitting there in the churches, the congregation of the dead, being damned. And the book is going to prove to you. All the scriptures today I'm going to prove to you. That Christians, you are in the the congregation of the dead being damned by the, your worship of Christ crucified. We're going to start with Ezekiel 31.6. All the fowls of the heaven made their nests in his bowls. Who is he talking about? Lucifer. Satan. Right? The subtle serpent. And under his branches did all the beasts of the field who was what? The nations. The people. The Gentiles. Bring forth their young. And under his shadow dwelt all great nations this is before the creation of Adam and Eve the book tell you in Genesis that the Gentiles are not from Adam they are a different species right let's keep going we're talking about the congregation of the dead and the resurrection of the dead that's being preached to this congregation Genesis 2 7 because they thought the resurrection of the dead was Christ dying and then the people that's already dead they're gonna be raised with Christ in the end that believed in, in Christianity boy are they some fools Genesis 2 7 and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life which is the spirit and we prove everything by the scriptures and man became a living soul the Gentiles only received a soul, but no spirit. Let's go to Job to prove the spirit. Job 27.3 All the while my breath is in me, that breath of life, and the spirit of God in my nostrils. So when God breathed that breath of life, he breathed the spirit of God into mankind. Not into Gentiles who only have a what? souls so gingers have what souls keep going first corinthians fifteen forty five, and so it is written that the first adam which is the gentiles was made a living soul they only have a soul and the last adam which is the hebrews they have a what spirit so that you don't be deceived and you know exactly what the verses mean no one can say it don't mean that because it does. Genesis 1, 28. And God blessed them, who? Adam and Eve. And God said unto them, have dominion over every living thing that moves upon the earth. So if you didn't know, heaven and earth were connected. The Gentiles lived on the earth part of it. When God gave them dominion, the Gentiles lost their dominion. Satan was wroth. 
and he went to go deceive Adam and Eve. Why? Because his species was created crooked. And that's why God said, my hands have formed the crooked serpent. Who can make straight that which I made crooked? So Satan wanted to prove to the Most High God that man was just as crooked as he was. And that's why he went to go deceive them. All of that is left out of the Bible. You have to get it in spurts here and there and put the pieces of, of the puzzle together. And that's why God gave me this brain that I have. And my brain put things in meticulous order from the beginning to end. So I can read Genesis from the beginning all the way to the end to Revelations. And my brain will put the whole Bible together inside of my brain and give it to you like I'm giving it to you now. That is a gift from the Most High God. It is not my own. Satan and the beast were wroth at this. Satan then went and deceived Adam and Eve because what? God gave them dominion. And that's why the perpetual hatred. Because you receive the breath of life, which is the spirit, and he only has a soul. He's an envious bastard. And you also received what? Dominion. And he's a controlling bastard and he wants that dominion. We've proven everything by the scriptures. I'm not talking out my ass. This is 100% facts. Genesis 3.14. And the Lord God said unto the servant, Because you have done this, what? Deceived them, blasphemed, lied. He lied on God. God said what? If you eat of this tree, you will surely die. He said what? The opposite of what God said. You shall not surely die. Right? But you will become as gods. And that's where all this God crap came from. Because thou hast done this, thou, have cur thou art cursed above all the cattle and above every beast of the field. Wouldn't cattle be beasts of the field? Exactly. But the beast of the field is not cattle. It is what? It is Gentiles. And this is why the Jewish who think that they are not Gentiles call them Goyim, right? Upon thy belly shalt thou go and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. Dust is mankind who was made from mankind. Right? So he lives off the blood of men. Right? And that's why they live by the sword. Daniel 7, 12. As for the rest of the beasts, the Gentiles, they had their dominion taken. What cow had his dominion taken? None. We know who the beasts are. They had their dominion taken, yet their lives were prolonged for a season. What is that season? Till the day the dead are raised. They changed the dates and the times, and they put it for what? 40 and, 40 and 2 months, right? So you say, oh, that already happened. No, it ain't happened yet. Revelation 11, 2. But the court which is without the temple, which means what? They're not in Jerusalem. Leave them out. And measure it not, for it is given unto the Gentiles. Outside are, you know what? And the holy city shall they tread underfoot for forty and two months. That's the season that their lives were prolonged for. You'll get this from nobody else because they don't know the truth. God didn't give it to them. You learn this here. And it's facts because you can read along with me. You didn't understand these verses before. I'm helping you understand them. Revelation 13, 5. And there was given unto Satan the same thing. They did a deal with God. To what? Destroy mankind. To prove that mankind was just as crooked as they were. That's why they put the guns in your neighborhood. That's why they own dope shops in freaking Mexico, Afghanistan, in Cuba, right? And they come and import all those drugs in their helicopters and they submarines and everything and put them on the streets for you to sell. That's why they put the, the, the liquor stores and, and the abortion clinics and all the bad things in your neighborhood to prove to God that you are just as crooked as they are. That's why they put in bait cards to catch a predator and everything else. They are trying to prove to God that you are crooked and wicked. That's why they spy on you. 
they ain't looking for anything good they're looking for evil and so if you understand this it's telling you Gentiles here is what you were designed to do you were designed what to tread the holy city of God under your foot the people under your foot to slay them with the sword until your season is up if you don't know you don't know and that's why you're not counting measure it not anyway and then they, they lost who they are and they deceived they inherited lies they said they were civil people you're here to kill steal and destroy everywhere you went you have stole the land you have killed the people and destroyed their nationality and everything else you destroyed you turn everybody into you and well do you know that history proves this you are destroyers All right Satan was given what a, a, a mouth and there was given unto Satan the little horn a mouth speaking great things which is what blasphemies right and he lied to Adam and Eve right on God he lied about God and power was given unto him to continue 40 and 2 months which at the same time his descendants got the Gentiles I preach to you 100% facts that nobody knows Revelations 12 7 then a war broke out to heaven why because they got kicked out they lost a dominion right they had a deal Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon and his demons fought back right but the dragon was not strong enough and no longer was any place found in heaven for him and the Gentiles right check this out so if you go to the New Testament in Revelations I believe and it's going to tell you that there are 12 gates in heaven and each gate has the name of the tribe of Israel on them no Gentiles they are not written in the book of life they were left out of the temple they had a season to destroy mankind they had a season to bring mankind into crookedness they don't understand right and so at the beginning we read they know not what they worship in they lost and you thought you were lost they lost and this is why in the end they say our fathers have inherited lies Revelations 12 9 and the great dragon was hurled down that ancient serpent called the devil and Satan the deceiver of the whole world was in the Gentile land he was hurled to the earth and his demons with him right Revelation 12 the woman falling she wasn't falling for nothing and the child is what Christ right Jesus was born in Bethlehem this Christ was coming down right with a kingdom the ten horns the dragon right which is the nations right the ten horns were ten nations so it proves that the nations was what already there in heaven being hurled down right and they are the what demons they not mankind and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven that these devils is being held down now has come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ way back then mm-hmm let's keep going Revelation 23 and they cast him into the bottomless pit after this war was broke out right and shut him up that's Satan the little horn and, 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 seal, and set a seal upon him and that he should not deceive the nations no more until a thousand years be fulfilled and after that he must be loose for a season forty and two months the time of Satan and the Gentiles which is what the day the dead are risen and I saw the thrones and they that sat on them and you would think oh this is heaven and no this is earth they heaven is on earth and the judgment was given unto them that's why they all got hurled down to earth that was judgment that's why they all went to hell that's why they all got a season for 40 and 2 months that was the judgment the books was open on Gentiles right judgment was given unto them and I saw the souls of them we got spirits 
that were beheaded for the witnesses of what? This fake Christ that came down. This great fake Christ that was hurled down to the earth. That great dragon that brought his salvation. That salvation is from God. So he getting you away from the law and getting you into what? Death and hell with him. We're going to prove that by the scriptures. All right? We were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God. And that's the blaspheme. And which had not worshipped the beast neither of his image. And this is to throw you off a bit. Neither had received his mark upon their forehead or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. This already happened. Right? Notice watch they're going to put the devil doing a thousand years. And Jesus doing a thousand years together. The devil in hell from the beginning. And Satan in hell. The devil being the first one to be destroyed by God. And Jesus being the first one to be destroyed by God. Listen carefully today. But the rest of the dead. Right? Live not again till the thousand years were finished. The rest of the dead had their dominion taken. This is the first resurrection. So this is what you're being taught in the church. The resurrection of the dead. This is when the Gentiles were thrown or hurled out of heaven and cast into hell for a thousand years and then came out after the thousand years as locusts to what? Torment men. They have 40 and two months to trample down the holy city of Jerusalem. Blessed and holy is he that has part in the first resurrection. Sure, they blessed and holy. On such the second death has no power. So they already did what? They already died. Why would there be a second death? If this is the end time. That wouldn't make no sense. But they shall be what? Priest of God. And of Christ. At the end? No that's happening now. Right? And shall reign with him a thousand years. And when the thousand years are expired. Satan will be loosed out of his prison. Jesus did a thousand years. Right? And Satan did a thousand years. They put in a thousand years. Of reigning with Christ a thousand years. The dead not living a thousand years. And Satan being loose after a thousand years. It's all Christ and the Gentiles. Preaching the false doctrine of Christianity. We prove everything by scripture. So we got the same thing in the book of Daniels right here. Daniel 7, 9. And I beheld till the thrones were cast down. And I told you the thrones were what? They were on this earth. So we go back up to it. Right? And I saw the thrones and them that sat on them. And those were the kings of the earth. The thrones were cast down. Right? They tried to make you think that was a holy thing in Revelation, huh? And the ancient of the days did sit, whose garments was white as snow, that Christ that came down, right? And the hair of his head, like pure wool. Mm -hmm. His throne was like a fiery flame, I wonder why. Because his body was thrown to the flames. And his wheels as burning fire. Oh, he was in them chariots, wrapped the news. And a fiery stream issued and came forth from him. Thousands ministered unto him. And 10,000 times 10,000 stood before him. The judgment was set. And the books were opened just like in Revelations. Because it's the same thing. And beheld, one is telling you it's Christ, one is telling you straight up it's the beast. And beheld then because of the voice of the great words, which is blasphemy, which the horn spoke, which is what? Christ Jesus, the little horn. And beheld even till the beast was slain. Right? Christ got killed. Him and the Gentiles couldn't handle Michael and the angels. And his body was destroyed. He died. He was the first begotten of the dead. And given to the burning flames. He was in hell a thousand years. As concerning the rest of the beasts. Listen. It says the same thing here. Right? It 
it says the same thing here. It says the same thing. As concerning the rest of the beasts on each one, huh? They had their dominion taken away, yet their lives were prolonged for a season of time. I saw in the night vision, and behold, one like the Son of Man. So I can say, you can say, uh, there's Michael Jackson, but there's one like Michael Jackson. Is that Michael Jackson? No. One like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven. He was being hurled down to earth. They try to make it seem glorious, huh? And came to the ancient of the days, and they brought him near before him, and there was given unto him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people and nations and language should serve him. Tell me that the G Jesus Christ that was born in Beth Bethlehem, right? Did he come down in clouds? Uh-uh. See, this one already came down in clouds at the beginning of the time, the ancient of days, right? And that all the people and kingdoms and nations and language serve Jesus Christ here when he was here? No. But all the people of the nations and languages is serving who right now? The devil? Yes. His dominion is an everlasting dominion and his everlasting is only 40 and 2 months till the time the dead are raised because if you finish reading it's going to say and he hands over his kingdom and dominion in the end which shall be destroyed. Which shall not pass away in his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed and is going to contradict itself and say it's going to be destroyed. Him and Christ is handing over the kingdom already before to you. Same thing. Isaiah 9 6. For unto us a child is born. Revelation 12. The one up there that was hurled down. Unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulders. See right? He ruled and regulated all the great nations. They was under his shadow. And his name shall be Wonderful Counselor. He's a liar. The mighty God, and that's Satan, the God of this world. The everlasting fa Father, his kingdom will be everlasting. The Prince of Peace. He was the first begotten of the dead and the Prince of the Kings of the Earth. Y'all worshiping Satan. Y'all don't even know. Romans 10, 7. Who will descend into the abyss of Sheol? Sheol is what? Hell. The abyss is what? The pit. A hell. That is to bring Christ up from the dead. Christ died on the cross and then went to the pits of Sheol. See, they're talking about two time periods, folks. And they're deceiving you to make you think it was the time that he died on the cross and then he was promising this man he would see the kingdom and he went to hell itself. You're being deceived, folks. Acts 26, 23. That Christ should suffer and that he should be the first that should rise from the dead. He should be what? The first that should rise from the dead. He should be what? The first that should rise from the dead and show light unto the nations which are the Gentiles. He didn't deceive the nations no more until he did that thousand lick in jail in hell. And then what happened? How can you be the first to rise from the dead? Unless you're Satan. Satan was dest destroyed first. And he was the first one loose. And the first one to be risen from the dead. This Christ is Satan. Y'all got deceived. Proverbs 21 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding then. From the most high God. Will remain in the congregation of the dead. They are preaching in the churches. The what? The resurrection of the dead. And that making them what? The congregation of the dead. Let's find out. Revelations 1.5 And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead, the first to come back from death, the first to die and be risen from the dead, which is Satan, the prince of the kings of the earth, and the kings of the earth are what? Beast. How, how can he be the king of the beast? King of kings, Lord of lords, huh? Y'all got deceived. And he's what? The first begotten of the dead. Romans 7, 4. Therefore, my brethren, you also have become dead to the law. 
with the law, the words of God, through the body of Christ. He did, and you did. Dead to the law means you are sinners. Right? You are the ungodly. Galatians 5.4 Christ has become a no effect to you. Whosoever of you are justified by the laws of the Most High God. Because you know who your God is. And we'll go back up to it to the top again. You worshiping which y'all don't know Christians. But we worship in what we know. For salvation is from the Jews. They have to come to your light. All the families of the earth will be blessed through you. Not Christ. Not this devil that y'all are worshiping. Colossians 2.20 Wherefore if you be dead with Christ. From the rediments of the world. Why as though living in the world. Are you subject to ordinance. Let's stop going by the law and let's say we are saved by grace. And then the book clearly tells you when the Gentiles fail to obey the law, they will be destroyed. If you keep sinning willfully, there is no more sacrifice for your sins. All of y'all Christians are damned to hell. You got G-Man trying to battle with me. I can read G-Man from the beginning to the end. He is totally gay. And I'm not saying that to be funny as facts. Everybody know when you listen to that video of me battling him, he gay. And so he need Christ to die for his sins because he can't stop being a sinner. And then it tells you straight up sinners are of the devils because nobody with the spirit continues to sin. Nobody born of God with the spirit continues to sin. He is a devil, according to the scriptures. And the devils are going to call us what? Devils. Because they, they do everything backwards. Romans 8.10 And if you be and Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin. Have Christ is God in the flesh, and he being in you, your body is dead because of sin? No. If he be the devil, and he in you, then you become what? Dead because of sin. So you are the congregation of the dead. 1 Corinthians one twenty three. But we preach Christ crucified. What are they preaching? The resurrection of the dead. What did the real Jesus tell them to preach? He said go preach the kingdom of God. We ain't stuck in the dead. Unto the Jews a stumbling block because we know who we worship they don't understand who they worshiping let's keep going they preach the resurrection of the dead to the dead Acts 17 32 and when they heard of the resurrection of the dead where are they hearing this from Paul some mocked at it say what the fuck is that and others said we will hear thee again on this matter it was serious you know and you need to watch the video again on this matter I'm not getting paid for you to watch the video I'm telling you to watch it so you can get a greater understanding I'm not bumbling and mumbling I know exactly what the hell I'm talking about you know and ain't no error in me first Corinthians 15 42 so also is the resurrection of the dead it is sown in corruption Christ is the first begotten. Let's go back up to it, man. Christ, who was the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead, the first that was resurrected from the dead, the first to die. You are dead with Christ. You are also dead to the law in Christ. Right? And if Christ be in your body, you, you are dead because of sin you dealing with the devil man and y'all know it anyway the resurrection of the dead and that's what's being taught to y'all is sown in corruption y'all being deceived by the devil 
And this is why it's easier just to worship the Most High God of Israel and leave all this bullshit alone. 1 Thessalonians 4.16 The dead in Christ shall rise first. What did that mean? That means you are the tares. Matthew 13.30 Gather ye together first the tares. First and first. And bind them in bundles to burn them. And that's where y'all going. Y'all body is dead to the law. Y'all have to burn in hell for the shit. Your, your salvation is from God. Y'all not understanding. Satan is redeeming you from God by giving you another God. Christ crucified by giving you another law. Christianity by giving you a new covenant. Y'all got deceived. Y'all are reading a comic book made by the devil called the Bible. Matthew twenty two thirty two, I am the God of Abraham says God Isaac and the God of Jacob all of these are Israelites all of these are Hebrews I am not the God of the dead but of the living the rest of the dead live no more until what the thousand years I am not the God of the dead now y'all know who the dead is the end this is wrap the news <laughs>